good, you? Yeah. Um, can I get a dozen of medium and like six of large? Thank you. His uh, grips are right there. All right guys, so me and my buddy are walking to the spot where we're gonna ice fish and just look at where the ice used to be on this tree. It's like six feet higher than where it is right now. That is crazy, this pond row is that high. And if you look behind me, against this back bank here, you can see where the water level was. There's actually an ice line and that's literally like six feet above where the ice used to be. That's wild. What's going on guys? I am back out on the ice today and today I kind of have a special video. I am going for bass with tip-ups as usual but today I think I'm gonna throw in a mystery catching cook. I don't know what I'm gonna catch yet to cook. That's why it's a mystery. Could be a bluegill, could be a crappie, could be a fall fish. Who knows? But I saved you guys all the boring parts of setting up and everything. So I'm all set up already. All my tip-ups have minnows today. Now, in New Hampshire, you're allowed five tip-ups and one jigging rod. So my jigging rod is all set up right here. And I got a Swedish pimple tied on. And I'm going to tip that Swedish pimple with a wax worm. I also picked up this bottle of crappy attractant for $2.50 at that bait shop. Now, I'm not like a huge believer in fish attracting. I don't really think it works all that well. But um, in the winter time, when the fish are very slow and they don't like to move around a lot, I think scent is gonna play a key role in catching some fish today. Here you go tip now, here you go tip. Come on now. Dave was like, he watched that survival video. He watched a bunch of your videos the other day. Yeah. And he was like, so if I'm lost in the wild, like, Dersh is the guy to know, huh? And I was like, bro, if you're with me and Dersh in the wild, there's no chance. Like, I was like, I literally straight up said to him, I was like, if me and Darius are lost in the wild, there's zero chance we're dying. Like, zero. We got a tip, guys? Yeah, he's on. Yeah, he's on. Little guy. Little guy took the big shiner. Wow, this was a beefy shiner, too. Yeah. Just a little guy. No point in getting my good camera, but first fish of the day. That is nice. You got some ice in your pail? And he's still oh, got he's still the minnow. Oh, he's fine. Yeah. Just gonna shock him back to life a little. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's fine. Yeah. Get back down there, you little boy. Yoo! First fish of the day. Come on now, let's see another tip. See another tip here, tip here. Dude, I swore since this one went off, it was gonna be a big one, dude. Dude. I, I really did. <laughs> bro, I couldn't believe the size of the Yeah, yeah. 
That's why I thought it was gonna be huge. As soon as I felt it, I was like, because you were talking about how much kick that China had. Yeah. I was like, is this just a small? <laughs> nope, that's big. Dude, I like. I noticed you paused for a second too. I was like, no, it's gone. Well, dude, I like. I was like, well, he said the China was moving like a bastard. So. Here we go. Tip, tip, tip. We got one. We got a tip there. Got another one. Probably about two minutes after that other one. How do I do this? Is he on? Oh. He wasn't even on for a second. False alarm. Got a flag! I got a flag! Hopefully it's on. Come on, baby, let's go. I got a flag. Nice. Wow. I don't know if you can see down his mouth right there, but I put this tip up a little bit too far down and uh, the minnow got in the weeds. <laughs> that is sick. Second bass of the day, about the same size as the first one. Maybe a little bit bigger. This one could be like a third of a pound. The other one was like a quarter pound. But that is awesome guys, fish number two. All right guys, just to give you like a midday update, I have two fish so far and I've been here probably like an hour and a half so far. And I've also had one bite on my Swedish pimple that I tipped with the wax worm. I honestly thought that I was gonna slay it. Like I thought I was gonna be catching like bluegill and crappie all day long with that. I think what I'm gonna have to do is downsize to a really tiny tungsten jig, but I'm not even sure I have those with me today. So, I switched up the wax worm and put on a minnow on my Swedish pimple and sure enough I got a bite and my drag, like look at this, my drag is set tight. I just had a fish that was running with this. So it was a big fish, I only caught a glimpse of him and he looked big, he fought hard. And when I got him close to the hole, I mean, I'm not a very experienced ice fisherman. And um, I, don't, I don't know, instead of just kind of like pulling him just straight up through the hole, I, I didn't want to lose him, so I just kind of like let him play for a second at the hole. And um, my Swedish pimple got uh, caught on the ice at like the bottom of my hole and the fish just popped off. I literally saw the fish at the bottom of my hole stuck on the bottom of the ice for like a split second and then it was just gone. But there's really nothing to do except put another minnow on and send it back down in that hole. Tip, 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 finally. It's been like an hour where I got a tip. Come on, baby, come on. Don't, don't let me down. I got let down. That minnow was kind of dead anyway, so uh, I'm just gonna go grab a new one.
Tip, tip, tip up, tip up. Come on. Don't let me down. Don't let me down, come on. He's on, he's on. No! All right guys, so that's another tip up that went off in the shallow water. So I think that's kind of the pattern today. I mean, I kind of unlocked it a little bit late, but I'm gonna put another tip up in shallow water now. I think that's another tip up. I think that's another tip up. Oh, that's another tip up. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I need enough time to set up my other one. Come on. Yo, he's on. He's on. Come on. Got him. Got him. Oh. Little pickerel. My first pickerel this year. Put this pick roll back. Tip, 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 tip. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Here we go. He's on, he's on. Why? All right guys, I was just jigging with my jigging rod and I caught this big crappie, black crappie. Although it's kind of lost its colors, it's very pale. But this is a big one. It's, I would say probably 11, 12 inches. This is a nice crappie. What's going on guys? I do not have a lot of time to talk. This camera actually is about to die. But um, unfortunately, I did not catch that mystery fish. I could have like cooked that uh, crappy I just caught, but it's really too late in the day and I'm just gonna go home and probably order some dominoes or something like that. So there's really no point in wasting that fish. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace.